This video will be based on the proper way to install pallet racking anchors in a non seismic location. First of all, make sure our rack is on the line. All right. So our, our line's straight. And we're going to drill. Our anchors are four and a quarter. So we're going to drill just a little bit more so in the future if it has to be moved we can drive, take the nut off and drive the anchor down and it won't stick up out of the concrete. all the dust out, clean the hole out. Mm -hmm. Found the anchor, make sure that nuts up far enough so it beats as deep as it possibly can. And there's a tightened anchor. One anchor per foot plate is all that's required and it could be either on the left side or the right side. Exactly. Why would you put them on a nut? Why are there two holes? Sometimes you'll hit rebar in the concrete okay. and or there might be an air pocket down there, the concrete soft, so we get to the other side, so we can make sure we're, we're a good three and three quarters okay. in the concrete. What if you hit that concrete saw line? Do you have to do anything different? Can you can you drill on that concrete saw line? Yeah, because it's just it's just a little bit. Of, it's only about not even a quarter inch deep. It's an expansion joint, so the concrete doesn't crack okay. across warehouse. It, it's designed so it lets it separate it. If it's a sealed, I mean, like when they stop the concrete and start it again, it's going to be, you know, fairly deep. You have to move the row over one way or the other. You do have to row the row. Yes. Okay, very good. Because it's not going to hold in, inside the crack. But these are just, you know, quarter inch expansion joint cuts. Very good. So the client could install either left or right, does not matter. That's right. Very good. Thank you.